Hello everyone. Welcome to this dissection video of the front of forearm. Forearm extends from the elbow joint to the wrist joint. Forearm is divided into anterior compartment and posterior compartment. Anterior compartment is also called as the flexor compartment or front of forearm. While the posterior compartment is also called as the extensor compartment or back of forearm. In this video we will see the front of forearm. I am sure this video will be very useful for many of you who are dissecting the front of forearm or preparing for their practical exams and want to revise this topic in short period. For this purpose at the end of this video I have included some important viva questions. So watch this video till the end and let's get started. Let's see the dissection of the front of forearm followed by viva questions. We are going to see the dissection of anterior compartment of the forearm. First, the skin in front of the forearm is removed and reflected. Then in the superficial fascia of the front of the forearm, we get there are two nerves. This is the lateral cutaneous. This is the lateral cutaneous nerve of the forearm and medially here we get this is the medial cutaneous nerve of the forearm which is present in the superficial fascia of the front of forearm. Now after removing the deep fascia of the front of forearm we get there are five superficial and three deep muscles. All the five superficial muscles they take origin from the medial epicondyle this region medial epicondyle of the humerus. From lateral to the medial side superficial muscles are this is the pronator the teres muscle which forms the medial boundary of the cubital fossa this muscle is a pronator teres. Then we get next muscle this muscle is a flexor carpi radialis. This is palmaris longus muscle having long tendon and short belly and it is the degenerating muscle and 10% cases it is absent. The tendon is inserted on the flexor retinaculum and palmar aponeurosis. So this is the palmar aponeurosis present in the palm. Then next muscle we get this is a flexor digitorum superficialis. This is flexor digitorum superficialis muscle and medial most muscle here we get this is the flexor carpi ulnaris. This muscle is a flexor carpi ulnaris. Now we will see there are two heads of pronator teres, humeral head and ulnar head. So this is the humeral head of the pronator teres muscle and this is the ulnar head of pronator teres. In between the two heads passes the median now and deep to the ulnar head passes the ulnar artery. For the exposure of deep muscles, we will cut the insertion of pronator teres on the lateral surface of radius as well as we will cut the origin of flexor digitorum superficialis from the radius to expose the three deep muscles. Now this is the lateral muscle, this is a flexor pollicis longus, see the movement of thumb, this is flexor pollicis longus muscle and medially present this muscle this is flexor digitorum profundus this muscle is flexor digitorum profundus muscle and deep to that here quadrangular in shape this muscle we get this muscle is a pronator quadratus in between the radius and ulna we get introsious membrane this is the introsious membrane the direction of fibers downwards and medially in front of the introsious membrane this is the anterior introsious nerve and here this is the anterior introsious artery this anterior introsious nerve is the center introsious nerve is the branch of median nerve which is given after it comes out between the two heads of pronator teres. And this is the anterior introsious artery which is the branch of common introsious artery branch of ulnar artery. In addition to this we will get other, other vessels and nerves and they are just deep to the brachioradialis. This is brachioradialis. Just deep to the brachioradialis. Here we get this is the superficial branch of radial nerve. Medial to that here we get this is the radial artery and medially present here is the ulnar nerve. This is the ulnar nerve and here this is the ulnar artery and deep to the flexor digitorum superficialis here we get this nerve. This is the median nerve which is the nerve of the anterior compartment of the forearm this is the median nerve and here this median nerve is accompanied by median artery this median nerve is accompanied by this median artery this is the median artery
that was the dissection of the front of forearm now we will proceed to the viva questions here i have included the important and most commonly asked viva questions on this topic for all practical and viva exams identification of all dissected structures is must that means one should be able to identify the muscle vessel or nerve coming to the basic question forearm and its divisions means extent of forearm and its divisions into the anterior and posterior compartments muscles of the front of forearm can be asked for their divisions divisions will include superficial and deep five superficial and three deep muscles these muscles can be asked for their attachments nerve supply and actions some muscles can be asked for their relations with the nearby vessel or nerve for example pronator teres it has two heads humeral head and ulnar head between the two heads passes the median nerve and deep to the ulnar head passes the ulnar artery Similarly flexor carpi ulnaris deep to the origin of flexor carpi ulnaris passes the ulnar nerve while deep to the origin of the flexor digitorum superficialis pass median nerve and ulnar artery palmaris longus muscle can be asked for its type peculiarity and other examples so answer will be it is degenerating muscle or regressive muscle absent in 10% cases and peculiarity it has short belly and long tendon other degenerating muscles in the body include plantaris in the lower limb pyramidalis in the anterior abdominal wall sos minor in the posterior abdominal wall other questions which can be asked are pronator uh, pronators and supinators of the forearm nerve of the front of forearm that means median nerve can be asked for its origin root value branches and distribution what is the other name of this median nerve and why so the answer is median nerve is also called as the laborers nerve because it supplies the flexor muscles of the front uh, of the forearm which are used for lifting the heavy weights and most commonly done by laborers so it is called laborers nerve other vessels and nerves seen here can be asked for their origin cause and branches sometimes interosseous membrane can be asked for its attachments direction of the fibers related vessels and nerves and muscles attached to it that's all about the anterior compartment or front of forearm or flexor compartment of forearm i am sure this video you will find it very useful thank you for watching